lot of movement back there in the back, two and three wide. Pretty even. Oh, look at that. Guys getting checked up. Big, big contact back there. J.J. Ailey's around the 10, the 2, hard into the wall. Oh, good. Kyle Busch involved. Big damage on the 18 as well. This is the concern about pitting and losing track position is the chaos on the starts. Huge damage to the two of Cindric. That was a big hit. Massive hit. Oh. Austin Cindric drops the window right, right. in frustration. Big damage to the 18 car. High hopes that he's on that, you know, career longest streak, not finishing inside the yeah, top 10. Uh, it looks like the left front tie rod's broken. Looks like he gets a little bit loose. He's trying to save it. More and more contact. But the 10 spins up in front. I'm going to have to watch it again to see how the 10 spun around. Was it contact from the 15, Gene? I, I believe a little contact with the uh, with another car, not the 15, but move back here to the, the contact. Actually, yeah, there you yeah, go. Right? 10, 15 there. Him right there. And getting overcorrected into the wall head on by the two. That's your, that's your worst nightmare, I think, in a race car being turned head on into the wall like that at such a high speed, even though they're on a restart here, not full speed. These are still tremendous hits for these guys. Look at Ty Gibbs. Oh, that's Saber Mario move. That's Saber Mario. Big move. 20 is going to push this 11 a little bit down the back straightaway. They're going to close in on the one, have a big run here. What does Denny do with that? He's going to dive to the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, that's going to hurt both of them. That gives Bell some advantage right here. Look at the momentum Bell has. He's going to push Hamlin right here. Hamlin's going to have an opportunity. What's he going to do with it? He's going to the top of the racetrack, Chastain to the inside. I'm surprised by that. That's an obvious easy pass for Denny around the top of the racetrack. You think that's Chastain not wanting to show him the left side of his race car? You think he's like, you know what? I, I like you better on my right side. I can control what contact we may or may not have. We'll never know. Cross Chastain in front of Ty Gibbs. Ty oh! to lift off the gas. Don't give me that opportunity. I'll put it in there is what he said. Harvick again going to the bottom. I'm really impressed with Harvick's car right here. He can stay on that bottom. You and everybody else, man. I cannot believe he's up here battling for the lead. Bravo. I don't know where they finish. I didn't see this coming. Rodney Childers trying to make a big statement. Big run into three. Hamlin's able to power back. Now here comes Bell. Can Harvick slide up in front of Bell? There he goes. Bell to the inside down the front straightaway. Side by side for second. Christopher Bell, Kevin Harvick. Can't quite do it. Harvick battles back on the outside. Really tight down into turn one. Now Harvick has that preferred lane like we saw Denny Hamlin had. Bell able to hang with him. Now turning away from him, trying to get away from that side draft. Now trying to pull Harvick back to him. Tries to overdrive the corner. Now he slides up in for caution. Oh, we out. got a yellow. We got a car spinning down the back stretch. Oh, Noah Gregson in the 16. Have a nice run after a fast car yesterday. Looks like some damage on the right front corner. Oh, yeah, some pretty big damage on the nose of the 16 car. Right rear corner as well. Look at that car. That's the, that's the crab walk. Healthy lead over Bubba Wallace. Thomas Cruz home to victory here. 46 years old from Bakersfield, California. This will be his 59th career win. That puts him 10th all time, guys, on the list. 65 starts since the last win for this four team. And he entered Michigan, 96 points out of the playoffs in 17th position. As he comes off turn four, the closer, Kevin Harvick, is gonna make it happen in Michigan. Great job!